Okay, so welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes. And in this video, we are going to discuss uh, one of the methods of integration, that is integration by substitution. And what is the need for this method? In exercise 7.1, we have integrated some of the derivatives which were readily available, like we know that the differentiation of cos x is negative sin x. So integration of cos x or let's say the integration of sin x. So to integrate sin x we know that the differentiation of cos is negative of sin x so we can just write negative of cos x here. So this integration is directly available. Similarly we all know the integration of this secant squared x which was tan x but all the derivatives will not be readily available to you and in that case we will have to make the substitution and make them and convert them into the derivative forms so let's consider this example so let's suppose we have to integrate 2x into sine of x squared plus 1 into dx. Now, this <clears throat> for this we don't have the direct formula or we, this derivative is not directly available to us. But in this case, we know that if I try to differentiate x squared plus 1, so its differentiation is 2x. So I can make a substitution of x squared plus 1 and how we are going to do that. Let's say this is my integral i and I know that the differentiation of x squared plus 1 will give me 2x. So I will consider x squared plus 1 as t. And now differentiating this with respect to t, we get. So differentiation of x squared is 2x, x is 0. And <clears throat> because we are differentiating with respect to t, so 2x squared is x squared's differentiation is 2x and we are differentiating with respect to t. So it's dx by dt plus differentiation of 0 with respect to it's a constant is 0. So it's and differentiation of t will be 1. Now this can be written as 2x into dx is equal to dt. And if I come to my integral here, so 2x into dx. Let me just write it here. So it's 2x into sine of x squared plus 1 into dx and now this is substituted with t and this 2x into dx this gets substituted with dt so my integral is now it's sine of t into dt which is which can be directly integrated because we know that the integration of sine is negative cos x so it's with respect to t so it's negative cos t plus c and now we can substitute the value of t that is x square plus 1. So in this way we can do substitution uh, integration by substitution method and these the other two methods we are going to discuss them later on for the time being for exercise 7.2 we are going to do that by integration by substitution and we can see uh, to understand this concept more clearly we can take another example let's say we have to integrate sine of this is tan inverse x so tan inverse x upon 1 plus x squared into dx and this is what we have to integrate. Now, the entire derivative of this derivative is not readily available. So what we are going to do, we are going to make a substitution and to make the substitution, remember that we have, we have to make the substitution in such a way that this all gets converted into the differential element of uh, the one that the, the variable that you have chosen. Like in this case, we I know that the differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 plus x squared. So I will consider tan inverse x as t. And now 
I will differentiate this with respect to the another variable that is t. So, <clears throat> differentiation of tan inverse x with respect to t, it gives me 1 upon 1 plus x square and because it's we are differentiated with respect to t so it's for x it's dx by dt and for t it's 1. So instead of writing this I will just directly write in, in the coming questions I will just directly write 1 upon 1 plus x square into dx is equal to dt and uh, in this integral so in this dx upon 1 plus x square gets replaced by dt and tan inverse x gets replaced by t and r integral is finally in terms of t so that is sine t into dt and we know that integration of sine is available to us it's negative cos t plus c finally we can substitute the value of t which was tan inverse x so it is tan inverse x plus c and this is our integral. So this is how we are going to solve the functions for which the this integration or the derivatives and anti derivatives are not ready. We will make the substitution and we'll convert them in the form of where we like in this case I have used t as the substitution variable. So I will get all this converted in the function uh, t and with differential element dt. So that's how it works. And moving on to exercise 7.2, let's try to solve more of these type of questions. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. So before we move on to exercise 7.2, I have already discussed what is integration by substitution. These two we will discuss later on with their uh, respective exercises. And uh, we all know that we the integration of sine x is readily available to us, which is negative of cos x. Similarly, integration of cos x is available to us, that is sin x and I will put the integral constant here but we don't know the also we know that integration of secant square x is tan x integration of secant square x is tan x we all know that integration of secant x into tan x is secant x so whenever we have to integrate sin x cos x secant square x or secant x into tan x we can just directly put in their values but we don't know the uh, the integration of tan x cot x and secant and cosecant and in the coming questions we may find it difficult to uh, find their values so we will find their values using integration by substitution and then we can directly sub we, we, put, we will directly put in their values and we have to learn them uh, so first one is integration of tan x so integration of tan x i'm going to find out the integration of tan x using substitution method and i will treat this as a formula and where, wherever we have to uh, give the integration of tan x i will just directly put in the value instead of uh, finding the integral of it so this tan x can be written as it's sine x into cos x. Now, I know that the differentiation of sine x is cos x or the differentiation of cos x is negative of sine x. Let's make a differentiation here. I'm going to substitute, make a substitution of cos x. Let's say cos x is t. So, differentiating with respect to t gives me this is differentiation is negative sine x into dx which gives me dd so this can be written as sine x into dx is equal to negative of t and now this gets replaced with negative of dt and the cos x is our t 
so finally our integral when we make the substitution is negative is out it's dt by t and we know that the integral of 1 by t is we know that the integration of 1 by x into dx is log x so for 1 by t it's negative of log t plus c which gives me negative of log let's replace the value of t which was cos x plus c and now <coughs> finally we have the value for integral of tan x that is negative of cos x plus c and this can take another form if we use the laws of the logarithms that is we know that n into log m is equal to log m raised power n so this gives me log cos of x raised power minus 1 which is plus c which gives us log of this is cos x raised power minus 1 which is 1 by cos x plus c and this can be written as log of 1 by cos x can be written as log secant x plus c so these are the two forms of this integral of tan x you can either you can use either one either use minus log of cos x plus c or log of secant x plus c so this is the formula for integration of tan x and we will use that directly in the coming questions that we are going to solve coming on to the second one that is cot x and we know that cot x can be written as cos x upon sine x and <coughs> similarly we are going to make the substitution as we did for tan x so let's say cos x is okay in this case let's make the substitution i'm going to make the substitution of sine x so sine x is d and differentiating this with respect to t gives me differentiation of sine x is cos x into dx into differentiation of d is 1 dt moves to the next side so this is cos x into dx is t so this gets replaced by dt and sine is t so this is 1 by t into dt which gives me log t plus c and log t is sine x so cot x has integral of cot x is we can say log of sine x plus c and moving on to the third one this is the first the second the third third is secant x and now let's try to get the integral of secant x using integration by substitution so <coughs> Uh, for the secant x we it's 1 upon x but we cannot make the substitution here so let's try to get this in that form and what I'm going to do I'm going to multiply and divide this secant x with secant x plus tan x so that I can get so why I'm doing this is to get it in the form secant square x <coughs> so that I can get it in the form secant square x or secant x into tan x for which I know the entire derivative. So I'm going to multiply this with secant x plus tan x and divide this with secant x plus tan x. Now I can make the substitution. So substitution here is secant x plus tan x is t or let me just expand this one or open up the bracket it's secant square x plus secant x into tan x and now if i substitute this as t that will give me uh, these functions as the derivatives and if i substitute this that is secant x plus tan x is equal to t so differentiation of secant x is <coughs> uh, 
okay so differentiation of secant x gives me it's secant x into tan x plus differentiation of tan x is secant square x which is that is into dx gives me dt and now this is my <coughs> uh, numerator here so this gets replaced by dt so this gets replaced by dt and this is our t so finally integration of secant x into tan x can be written as it's dt by secant x plus tan x is t which is log of t plus c and now log t can be replaced which is secant x plus tan x plus c so we have the formula for this which we have to learn and so that we can use it directly for secant x into tan x log of secant x plus tan x plus c this is the formula and the next one is cosecant x so we will try to get the formula for the cosecant x as well so this is the post one and let's say our integral i is cosecant x into dx i cannot make the substitution here but I will try to get it in the substitution form and for this I'm going to multiply the numerator but multiply and divide it by cosecant x plus part x so multiply and divide it with cosecant x plus part x and if I open up the bracket of the numerator it's cosecant square x plus cosecant x into quad x upon cosecant x plus quad x and now I can make the substitution I will suppose let's say cosecant x plus quad x is t and differentiating with respect to t gives me its cosecant x Differentiation of cosecant x is negative cosecant square x into dx by dt. I will take that common and shift that d to that side and negative of cot x. So differentiation of cosecant square x cosecant x is negative cosecant x into cot x plus differentiation of cot x is negative cosecant square x into dx by dt which is common so it, this is now it looks like this and for this <coughs> i can take negative common so it's cosecant x into cot x plus cosecant square x into dx is equal to negative of dt so this gets replaced by negative of dt and this is our t so integral is negative dt upon t which is negative of log t plus c and this gives me negative of log t log t was cosecant x plus cot x plus c so this is the integral of cosecant x this is cosecant x which is negative of log into cosecant x plus cot x plus c and this can also be uh, <coughs> written in another form and <coughs> uh, let's say this is cosecant x plus cos x this minus comes here and now it can be written as 1 upon cosecant x plus cot x plus c so this is one of the form and i am going to show you one more variation and there is an identity 
is in the relation between the cosecant x and cortex. We all know that 1 plus cos square x is equal to cosecant square x, which gives us 1 is equal to cosecant square x minus cos square x. So this 1 can be replaced with this is log of cosecant square x minus cos square x upon cosecant x plus cot x and this is a square minus b square which is log of a plus b into a minus b upon cosecant x plus cot x this gets cancelled so this is log of cosecant x minus cot x plus c so <clears throat> integration of cosecant x into dx that is cosecant x into dx can be either this log of cosecant x minus cot x plus c or log of negative of log of cosecant x plus cot x plus c you can use either one of these so this is how we can get the integrals of tan x cot x secant and cosecant x by substitution you, you, you don't have to do these all these uh the process while we try to find the integral you can just put in the directly their values and <clears throat> just remember that integration of tan x so for exercise 7.2 the these formulas are new that we you have to remember it's either that is integration of tan x is negative of log x plus c or log of secant x plus c this is the first one second one was integration of cortex which was log of sin x plus c and the third one was secant x into dx and for secant into dx it was log of secant x plus tan x plus c for the fourth one it was integration of cosecant x and integration of cosecant x was log of cosecant x minus cot x plus c so these are the four formulas that you will have to keep them in mind for solving the questions in exercise 7.2 do like, share and subscribe if you like the content. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to exercise 7.2 for question number 1 and this has to be integrated for 2x upon 1 plus x squared into dx. So we don't have the derived derivative for this 2x with uh, a function for whose derivative is 2x upon 1 plus x square and i said as i discussed in the introduction part of exercise 7.2 we have to do this using uh, that is by substitution method and let's see how we are going to do this question number one and i consider this to be our integral i i is equal to 2x upon 1 plus x square into dx this 1 plus x square we know that the differentiation of x square is 2x so i'm going to make substitution of this let 1 plus x square is equal to d and when i differentiate this with respect to d we get differentiation of d is 0 x square is 2x and x has to be differentiated once again so it's dx by dt integration of t is 1 and finally we have 2x into dx is equal to dt so this gets replaced by dt 
and this is our t so finally our integral is i is equal to integration of dt by t which gives us now integration of 1 by t is log t as integration of 1 by x into dx is log x so it's t with differential element dt so it's log t and finally we will put in the value of t that is log of 1 plus x squared plus c and this is also question number one do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Right, for question number two we have to find its integral and let's do it by method of substitution we know that uh, differentiation of log x is 1 by x so i'm going to make substitution of log x let's say it's equal to t now differentiating this with respect to t gives us 1 by x and x with respect to t is dx by dt that's equal to 1 so it's 1 by x into dx that's equal to dt let me just write it once again it's dx by dt is equal to 1 so it's dx upon x is equal to dt so dx upon x gets replaced by dt and log x is t so finally our integral is i is equal to integral of log log is t square into dt and now integration of t square finally this integral has same into the variable t with differential element dt but the formula remains same so it's x raised power n plus 1 so that would be 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 plus c which is t cube by 3 plus c and now we can put in the value of t that was log x by 3 plus 3 upon 3 plus c and that's also our question number two do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Right, for question number three, exercise seven point two, and we have to find the integral of this. And now this can be written as let me try to get this in the form where I can substitute something. So for this x is common, and now it's one plus log x. And now if I try to make substitution of this, I can get one by x into dx so let 1 plus log x be t integration of differentiating this with respect to t gives me integration of let me just write it down and i am going to differentiate this not with respect to x but with respect to t which gives me differentiation of 1 is 0 log x is 1 by x and for x is dx by dt i will just directly write dx here and integration of t is one so i will just put move t from here to the right hand side and now this can be substituted as this that dt and that is a differential element dt and one plus log x is t and finally this is dt upon log t so it's not dt upon log t it's dt upon 1 by x into dx is dt and 1 plus log x is t which is equal to log of t plus c and c can now be substituted sorry t can now be substituted is 1 plus log x plus c and this is the integral of Question number three, log of one plus log x. And this also question number three, do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. For question number four, exercise 7.2. And we have to find the integral of this. And we are going to do this using method of substitution. 
and so this is sin x into sin of cos x we know that if we substitute cos with the t that can give me the differentiation sin x and i'm going to assume that cos x is t so differentiation of cos x let's differentiate with respect to t on both sides differentiation of cos x is negative sin x into dx is equal to dt that's what what i will get after differentiating this and now sin x into dx can be replaced with this is sin x into dx which can be replaced with negative dt and the cos can be replaced with t so our integral is i negative is out sin x into dx is dt and this is now sine of t so <clears throat> finally our integral is in the function of variable t and differential element dt and integral of sine is negative of cos t plus c negative negative is positive and let's put in the value of t the t was cos x so that is cos of cos x plus c is our integral that's also our question number four do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Okay, for question number five, we have to find the integral of sine of ax plus b into cos of ax plus b into dx, and this is our integral. And this somewhat looks like the formula U sine x into cos x, which is equal to sine of x. But in this case 2 is missing so we will multiply and divide this function with 2 so it's 2 sine ax plus b into cos of ax plus b into dx and finally this gets reduced to one function that is sine of 2x so it's sine of 2 into ax plus b into dx and we know the integral of sine is negative so it is negative 2 into ax plus b and because it's not x so we have to divide it with the differentiation of ax plus 2 into ax plus b so differentiation of 2 into ax plus b where a and b are constants so 2 is out differentiation of ax is a b is constant is 0 so it's 2a so we have to divide it with 2a plus c and now this is negative cos of 2 into ax plus b on 4a plus c and this is our integral for question number 5 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching For question number six we have to find the integral of ax plus the root ax plus b into dx and this is our integral which can be written as ax plus b raised power half into dx and we are going to evaluate this with this formula that is integration of x raised power n into dx is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 instead of x we have ax plus b so i'm going to write it at as ax plus b and n is half plus 1 upon half plus 1 so this formula was for x variable x function x but it's ax plus b and we have to divide this value with the differentiation of ax plus b which is a plus c so that's our answer and now it's i is ax plus b raised power 3 by 2 
this is 3 by 2 into a plus c and finally it can be written as i is equal to 2 by 3a into ax plus b raised power 3 by 2 plus c so this is our integral for question number 6 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching To question number seven we have to find the integral of x into root of x plus two into dx this is our integral and how this can be written as x plus two under root is x plus two okay in this case we will try to make the substitution and let's try to substitute the value of x plus two that x plus 2 be t and if x plus 2 is t this gives us the value of x as t minus 2 and if we differentiate this which gives us dx is equal to dt this integral now can be converted into a function of variable t with differential element dt so x is t minus 2 it's t minus 2 under root x plus 2 is t under root t and dx is dt so it's dt and now this integral is completely in terms of variable t and differential element dt now root 2 is t raised power half so t minus t raised power half into dt that gives us t into t raised power half is t raised power 3 mm -hmm. by 2 minus 2 into t raised power half into dt and let's separate these integrals this is 2 into okay and this has to be evaluated using the formula x raised power n integration of x raised power n which is n plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus 2 into t raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 with integral constant c so t is power 3 by 2 plus 1 is t raised power 5 by 2 upon 5 by 2 minus 2 into t raised power 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 plus c and which gives us 2 by 5 into 3 raised power 5 by 2 this is 4 by 3 into t raised power 3 by 2 plus c we are not done yet we have to replace the number of n and t was x plus 2 so this is x plus 2 raised power minus 4 by 3 into x plus 2 raised power 3 by 2 plus c and this is our integral 2 by 5 into x plus 2 raised power 5 by 2 minus 4 by 3 into x plus 2 raised mm -hmm. power 3 by 2 plus c for exception number 7 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Yeah, next question is question number eight and we have to find the integral of x into under root what plus 2x square and let's say it's i which is x into under root 1 plus 2x square into dx and how do i check which one has to be substituted i just check that the differentiation of this gives me x this will give me x so i will substitute 1 plus 2x square is as t and differentiating this with respect to t we get differentiation of 1 is 0 and it's 2 into differentiation of x square is 2x into dx differentiation of t is 1 it's dt here and it's 1 i will just write directly that it's equal to dt so that is 4x into dx is equal to dt and x into dx 
is what I actually have in this integral. So x into dx is dt by 4. And now my integral is i1 by 4 is out. And x into dx is dt by 4 is out. It's under root of t. And under root t is t raised power half, which can be integrated easily, which is t plus 1 by half upon 1 by half plus c. We have used the formula integration of x raised power n, which is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So this is n plus 1, n plus 1, which gives me 1 by 4 into t raised power 2 by m, so upon 3 by 3 plus c, which gets cancelled, it's 2, so it's 1 by 6, and value of t, t was 1 plus 2x squared, so it's 1 plus 2x squared, the raised power 3 by 2 plus c, and that's our integral. Question number 8, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Okay, welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 9 of XI 7.2 for which we have to find the integral of 4x plus 2 under root x squared plus x plus 1 into dx. And let's say this is our integral. Okay, now for 4x plus 2, we can take 2 is common. So it's 2x plus 1. And it's under root x squared plus x plus 1 into dx for which has to be evaluated for the integral. The 2 is out now. We know that integration differentiation of x squared is 2x, x is 1. So I will substitute this as t. So it's 2x plus 1 under root x squared plus x plus 1 into dx. And let's say x squared plus x plus 1 is t, which gives me differentiating with respect to p, this gives 2x plus 1 into dx is equal to dt. So this is 2x plus 1 into so this in the dx gets replaced with dt and this is our p. And finally our integral is completely in terms of t. So this is 2x plus x into dx is dt which is going to be the of this is 2 and the integral of this is just 1 yeah. so, which is 2 is from 3 days from 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 plus c which is equal to 4 by 3 into 3 days from 3 by 2 plus c and finally, let's replace the value of t. Value of t is x squared plus x plus 1 raised power 3 by 2 plus c. And finally, this is our integral. So that's all for your question number 9. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 10 of XI 7.2 and this is our integral 1 upon x minus root of x into dx and directly we cannot make any substitution so let's try to get it in the form where I can make some substitution for this I can take root x is common so it's root x minus 1 into dx now I know if I substitute this and the integration of root x is 1 by 2 root x, so I can get root x. And let me make the substitution now. So that root of x minus 1 be t, its differentiation is 1 by 2 root x is 0. And we'll just put in dx here and dt shift to the other side. So it is dx upon root x is equal to 2 into dt. And now this gets substituted with 2 into dt, where 2 can be taken out. 
of the integral. So it's 2 into dt and root of x minus 1 is t. So finally, our integral is in terms of t. And it's 2, differential element is dt. And root of x minus 1 is t. So this is 2 log t plus c. And finally, I can replace the value of t, which was root of x minus 1 plus c. <coughs> And this solves our question number 10 of exercise 7.2. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. For question number 11, we have to find the integral of this. And by looking at this, it looks like it's not ready for substitution. So we will try to get this in the form where we can substitute the values and uh, let me add and subtract plus 4 and minus 4 to the, to the numerator. And this gives me our integral is now x plus 4 upon root of x plus 4 into dx minus integration of 4 upon root of x plus 4 into dx. And this root, we know that the root can be written in the exponent is as 1 by 2, so x plus 4 into x plus 4 raised power half for root and 4 is out. This can be written as x plus 4 raised power negative half according to the law of exponents. So this has power 1 and 1 minus half is half. So 1 minus half is half, which gives me x plus 4 raised power half in dx minus 4. And for this, I can now use the integral that is x raised power 1 into n raised power x raised power integration of x raised power n into dx is equal to x raised power n plus 1 upon n. Because this is a linear function, I can just use it. Uh, apply the formula here. So negative 1 plus 1 upon negative 1 plus 1. And okay, so this is not done yet for this. It's once again x plus 4 raised power half plus 1 upon half plus 1, which gives me x plus 4 raised power minus half plus 1 is half. It's half plus c. And this is x plus 4 raised power half plus 1 is 3 by 2. It's 3 by 2 minus 4 into 2, that is 8, into x plus 4 raised power half plus c. Okay, <clears throat> now it's 2 by 3 into x plus 4 into 3 by 2 minus 8 into x plus 4 raised power half plus c. And for these two terms, among 2 and 8. In common is 2. x plus 4 raised power 3 by 2 and x plus 4 raised power half smallest is x plus 4 raised power half. So this is common and now I am left with 1 by 3. And if I take 2 into x plus 1, x plus 4 raised power half common from this, that is, let me just divide it 2 by 3 into x raised power 4. 3 by 2 by 2x plus 4 raised power half 2 and 2 gets cancelled. It's 1 by 3 into x plus 4. 3 by 2 minus half is 2 by 2, so which is 1. So it is 1 plus 3x plus 1 plus 1 by 3 into x plus 4 minus, and it's just 4 left here plus c. <coughs> okay. Now it's 2 and x raised power, x plus 4 raised power half. It can be written as 2 into root of x plus 4. And let's take LCM here. So this is x plus 4 minus, well, plus c. This 3 can be written here. So it's 2 by 3 into root of x plus 4. And it's x minus 8 plus c. This should be our integral for 
2 by 3 into root of x plus 4 into x minus 8 plus c for question number 11. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. For question number 12, we have to find the integral of x cubed minus x raised power 1 by 3 into x raised power 5 into dx. And this is not actually ready for substitution. We will have to make some changes so that we can substitute the values. And we have x cubed here. So what I will do, I will write x raised power 5. The x raised power 5, 5 can be written as x cubed into x square into dx. Now, if I make this substitution, I can get x square as a differentiation. So x cubed minus 1 is t. And this gives me that x cubed can be written as t plus 1. And differentiating with respect to t, this gives me 3x square into dx is equal to dt. That is x squared into dx is equal to dt by 3. Now I can make the substitution and get the integral in terms of t. So x cubed minus 1 is t. So that is t raised power 1 by 3. x cubed is t plus 1. And x squared into dx is dt by 3. So 1 by 3 can be taken, can be placed here, so 1 by 3, and its differential element is dt. And finally, we have this integral in terms of t. And now let's open up the brackets. So 1 by 3 plus 1 is... 4 by 3 plus t raised power 1 by 3 into dt. Let's separate the integrals. 1 by 3 is common for all. So it's integral of t raised power 4 by 3 into dt plus integral of t raised power 1 by 3 into dt. And this is now i is equal to 1 by 3. So t raised power 4 by 3 is t raised power 4 by 3 plus 1 upon 4 by 3 plus 1 plus t raised power 1 by 3 is t raised power 1 by 3 plus 1 upon 1 by 3 plus 1. And don't forget to add the constant c. So integral is 1 by 3 into it's 4 by 3 plus 1 is 7 by 3. It's 7 by 3, which becomes 3 by 7, plus 1 by 3 plus 1 is 4 by 3, which is 3 by 4 into t raised power 4 by 3 plus c. And let's multiply it with 1 by 3. That's common for all. So it's 1 by 7 into t raised power 7 by 3 plus 1 by 3 into 3 by 4 is 1 by 4 into t raised power 4 by 3 plus 7 and let's find the putting the value of d d was substituted for x cube minus 1 7 by 3 plus this is 1 by 4 d is x cube minus 1 into 4 uh, raised power 4 by 3 plus c and this is uh, integral for Question number 12. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. All right, so for question number 13 of XI 7.2, and we have to find its integral. And let's say our integral is i. And we are going to do this by substitution method. And <clears throat> okay, so here is our energy. And we know the differentiation of x squared can we can get it from x cubed. So we are going to substitute this. Let two plus three x cube is equal to two. And differentiating this with respect to t, differentiation of two is zero. 
And for three x cubed, three is constant. And for x cubed, it's three x square into dx by dt. But I'm going to write it directly. So it's dt. And because we can substitute x square into dx, so value of x square into dx is equal to dt by nine. So this is dt by nine. Now this integral is in terms of t x squared into dx is dt by 9 and 2 plus x uh, 3x the whole cube is t which is which will be 3 cube that's why t cube and now i can be written in terms of uh, variable t so this is x squared into dx is dt by 9 so 1 by 9 can be taken out it's dt and 2 plus 3x the whole cube is t cube <clears throat> so it's t cube and now we can easily integrate this this can be written as t raised power minus 3 differential element is dt and for this we are going to use the formula that is x raised power n into dx which gives us x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 and this is in terms of t so this is 1 by 9 integration of t raised power minus 3 plus 1 upon minus 3 plus 1 and don't forget to add integral constant c it's 1 by 9 t e raised power minus 2 upon minus 2 plus c which gives us negative 1 by 18 value of t t is 2 plus 3x the whole cube raised power minus 2 plus c which can be written as minus 1 by 18 upon 2 plus 3x the whole cube the whole square plus c and this is our integral for question number 13 it's minus 1 by 18 2 plus 3x cube the whole square plus c and this is also our question number 13 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Okay, and now next question is question number 14 for which we have to find the integral and our integral is i that is integration of 1 upon x log x raised power m and in this case we know that if we substitute log x so that will give us the differentiation by x and let's substitute log x is equal to t and differential inverse with respect to t gives us 1 by x into dx is equal to dt so this is 1 by x into dx is our differential element t it's t raised power m so i can be now written as dt on t raised power m which can be written as t raised power negative m with differential element t and now it can be easily integrated it's power minus m plus 1 plus c <coughs> and finally we have to substitute the value so value of let me just erase this and we substituted t for log x so it's log x raised power 1 minus m on 1 minus m plus c and this is our integral for question number 14 log x raised power 1 minus m upon 1 minus m plus c so this is also our question number 14 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 15 of exercise 7.2 for which we have to find the integral and let's say it's i that is integral of x upon 9 minus 4x square into dx. Now we know that if we uh, differentiate this that, that is 9 minus 4x square we can get x so i am going to substitute 9 minus 4 x square as t 
and then differentiating this with respect to t gives us minus 4 for 9 it's 0 differentiation into 2x into dx is equal to dt which gives us minus 8x into dx is equal to dt so our 8 into dx is negative dt by 8 so this is negative dt by 8 and this is already t so integral in terms of t is negative 1 by 8 is out it's dt and x into dx is minus dt by 8 9 minus 4x square is t and minus 1 by 8 1 by t it's log t plus c 1 by t is integration so it's 1 by 8 log of 9 minus 4 x square plus c that's our integral for question number 15 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching For question number 16, once again, we have to find the integral and let's say our integral is e raised power 2x plus 3, that's the exponent. Okay, in this case, this 2x plus 3, we can substitute it as t, which gives us the integration of 2x is dx which gives us dt with respect to t if we differentiate this with respect to t so it's 2 integration of x is 1 but differentiation of x is 1 so it's 2 into dx and differentiation of 3 is 0 so our differential element is dt by 3 and now i can be written as dx is dt 1 by 3 is out and it's e raised power t we know that different integration of e raised power t so it's let me write it more clearly is equal to 1 by 3 integration of e raised power t and it's 1 by 3 integration of e raised power t is e raised power t plus c which gives us 1 by 3 e and t was substituted for 2x plus 3 plus c and that's our integral for question number 16 1 by 3 e raised power 2x plus 3 plus c that's also the question number 16 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching so welcome to prism science academy classes and we are on to question number 17 of exercise 7.2 for which we have to find the integral so our integral is x upon e raised power x square into differential element dx and let's substitute x square because that will give us x as the differentiation so x square is t it's 2x into dx is equal to dt if we differentiate this with with respect to t so x into dx is dt by 2 so now i can be written as x into dx is dt half is out and it's e raised power t which can be written as half into integral of e raised power negative t into t and we know that integral of e raised power t is e raised power t and because it's negative t so it has to be divided by the differentiation of negative t that is one plus c which gives us negative half e raised power negative t which can be written as this can be written as negative half upon so one upon two into e raised power t plus c and if we substitute the value of t that was x square so it's x square plus c and this is our integral minus 1 upon 2 into e raised power x square plus <coughs> c and this is our question number 17 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching
Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 18. R integral is e a is power n inverse x upon 1 plus x square. The function element is dA. And we know that if we substitute tan inverse x as t, its differentiation is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So tan inverse x is t and differentiating this with respect to t let me just write it down it's differentiating with respect to t we have to remember that it's not with x so differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square and because we are differentiating it with respect to t so it's dx by dt which gives us 1 and now this can be written as 1 upon 1 plus x square into dx that's equal to dt and now this dx upon 1 plus x square becomes dt this becomes t and our integral in terms of t will be e raised power t into dt which is e raised power t plus c and replacing t with what with what was substituted gives us our integral as e raised power tan inverse x plus c and this solves our question number 18 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching all right for question number 19 and we have to find its integral but this is not in the form where it can, because uh, this is not in the form where we can uh, substitute the numerator or the denominator. So let's try to get it in the form where we can uh, uh, substitute one of the terms in this. And now for that, I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by e raised power x. So this is e raised power 2x divided by e raised power x plus 1 upon e raised power x into dx and <clears throat> this gives us e raised power 2x upon x is e raised power x this is negative e raised power x upon this is e raised power x plus e raised power x now which is e raised power negative x now if i substitute this as t this should be my differentiation for this let's see so e raised power x plus e raised power minus x is t and differentiating this with respect to t not with x it gives us e raised power x is e raised power x differentiation and x is dx by dt plus e raised power negative x upon negative 1 into dx by dt is common so i will just write directly write dx and we will take dt here and this is now e raised power x minus e raised power minus x differential element dt that's equal to dt and finally this term is in is our differential element t and this is t and i in terms of t becomes dt upon t which is easy to integrate because it's log t plus c and t was substituted for e raised power x plus e raised power negative x plus c and this should be our answer that is log of e raised power x plus e raised power minus x plus c for question number 19 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 20 of XI 7.2 and this has to be integrated so R integral is I is equal to let's say it's I and it's e raised power 2x minus e raised power minus 2x upon e raised power 2x plus e raised power minus 2x as the denominator and <coughs> And this is ready for substitution so let's say e raised power 2x plus e raised power minus 2x is t and 
differentiating this with respect to P, we get so differentiation of e raised power 2x e raised power x is e raised power x it's 2x and it has to be multiplied the differentiation of 2x which is 2 plus e raised power minus 2x is e raised power minus 2x and has to be multiplied with differentiation of minus 2x which is minus 2 and we are differentiating it with respect to t so it's dx by dt that's common and I'm going to do it directly by taking leaving differential element ds here and dt on to other side. So finally it's 2 is common so it's e raised power 2x minus e raised power minus 2x differential element dx is equal to dt which leaves us with e raised power 2x minus e raised power minus 2x into this is into dx and it should be dt by 2 and, and let's replace our integral and so it should be i i is equal to this e raised power minus 2x this is now our differential element dt and this has been substituted for t so it's t integral of which Okay, it's not dt, it's dt by 2, so half is out, and it's half log t, and don't forget to add the integral constant c. Now, t has been substituted for e raised power 2x plus e raised power minus 2x plus c. This is our answer for question number do like share and subscribe thank you for watching welcome to Pratham science academy classes and we are on to question number 21 of exercise 7.2 for which we have to integrate 10 squared 2x minus 3 and let's say this is our integral 10 square 2x minus 3 differential element dx and now we know that we don't have the direct formula to integrate 10 square x but yes 1 plus 10 square is secant square x and integration of secant square x is tan x so this tan square x can be written as secant square x so this can be written as secant square 2x minus 3 minus 1 differential element is dx now integration that separate the integrals that is secant square into 2x minus 3 into dx minus 1 into dx now integration of secant square is tan x so it's 2x minus 3 and because this is a linear equation, so we have to divide this result with the differentiation of 2x minus 3, which is 2, and integration of 1 is x. Don't forget to add the constant c. And this is our answer for question number 21. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. All right, so for question number 42 of exercise 7.2, we have to integrate secant square 7 minus 4x into dx, and we know that integration of secant square x into dx is tan x plus c. So this is tan 7 minus 4x, and because the integration was, was for function x but it's not x it's 7 minus 4x and unlike in differentiation where we used to multiply its differentiation further as a chain rule in this case because integration is the opposite of inverse of uh, differentiation so in this case we are going to divide this result with the 
differentiation of 7 minus 4x, which is negative 4. So this is our answer, minus 1 by 4 into 10 of 7 minus 4x plus c. That's our integral for question number 22. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. All right, so for question number 23, we have to find the integral of sine inverse x upon root of 1 minus x square. And in this case, we are going to make the substitution of sine inverse x because its differentiation is 1 upon root of 1 minus x square. And let's say this is our i integral sine inverse x. This is sine inverse x upon root of 1 minus x square into dx. And let's substitute sine inverse x as t. Differentiating this with respect to t gives us 1 upon root of 1 minus x square into dx is equal to dt. So this is differential element dt and this is our t. Sorry, this is not t. It's actually, and this is our differential element dt and sine inverse x is t. So i in terms of t is t into dt, that is the integral and integral of t is t squared by 2 plus c. t was substituted for sine inverse x the whole square by 2 plus c. This is our integral for question number 23. That is i is equal to sine inverse x, the whole square by 2 plus c. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Next question is question number 24, for which we have to find the integral. And <clears throat> this can be written as, let's say it's i, it's 2 cos x minus 3 sine x upon 6 cos x plus 4 x. Let's take blue common here. So it's 3 cos x plus 2 sine x. Now it's ready for substitution and let's substitute this as t. So let 3 cos x plus 2 sin x be variable t. And differentiating this with respect to t gives us 3. Differentiation of cos is negative sin x plus 2 sin is cos x into dx gives us differential element dt. Now this can be written as 2 cos x. Let's put the, uh, the positive term in front and it's 3 sin x into dx is equal to dt. This becomes differential element dt. This is t and i in terms of is it's dt upon 2 into t and this is half integral of dt by t which gives us half of log t plus c and it's half log t. Now, t was substituted for 3 cos x cos x plus 2 sine of x plus c and that's our integral for question number 24. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 25 of exercise 7.2 which has to be integrated and let's say our integral is 
this uh, that is 1 upon cos square x into 1 minus 10 x the whole square now 1 upon cos square x is actually secant square x upon 1 minus 10 x the whole square and now it's ready for substitution we are going to make substitution of 1 minus 10 x let's say it's t now differentiating this remember we have to differentiate this with respect to t not with respect to x and this is differentiation of 1 is 0 it's negative differentiation of 10 x is secant square x into dx which gives us dt so secant square x into it's not dt it's actually dx here and dt was taken to RHS so it's dx is equal to negative of dt this is negative of dt let me write it more clearly it's negative of dt and this gets substituted as negative of dt this is t so i in terms of variable t is negative dt upon t square which is t raised power minus 2 into dt and integration of this is t raised power minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 plus c which is minus t raised power minus 1 upon minus 1 this is gets cancelled is positive and i is 1 upon t plus c it's 1 upon t t was substituted for 1 minus 10 x so it's 1 minus 10 x plus c and that's our integral for question number 25 and do like share and subscribe thank you for watching welcome to the science academy classes and our question next question is question number 26 it's our integral i and by looking at it it's obvious that we are going to make substitution of root x so let's say root x is t and we know that uh, differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x but it's differentiating with respect to t so 1 upon 2 root x and it's differential element dx by dt so it mistakes this form so it's dx by root x is equal to 2 into dt 2 into differential element dt and now this becomes 2 into dt root t is t root x is t our uh, integral is cos t okay sorry it's cos t and dx by root x is 2 into dt 2 can be taken out it's 2 and integration of cos x is sine d plus c which gives us 2 sine of root x plus c and this is our integral for question number 26 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Welcome to Earth and Science Academy classes and we are on the question number 27 under exercise 7.2 and this has to be integrated so let's uh, let's say our integral is i root of sine 2x into cos of 2x into dx and let's make the substitution of sine 2x so let's sine 2x dt and differentiation differentiating this with respect to t we get in differentiation of sine is cos 2x and differentiation of 2x it has to be multiplied it's dx is equal to dt so r cos 2x with differential element dx is dt by 2 so this becomes dt by 2 and this is 2 
So integral i in terms of variable t is root of sine two x is root d, and its dt half can be taken out, and integration of t its d raised power half, which becomes one by two, its t raised power half plus one upon half plus one plus c, which is half into t raised power 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 plus c and this is our integral so i is this 2 and 2 it gets cancelled so it's 1 by 3 and t was substituted for t was substituted for sine 2x it's sine 2x raised power 3 by 2 plus c and this is our integral for question number 27 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching all right so for question number 28 we have to find the integral and let's say it's integration of cos x into root of 1 plus sine x into dx and we are going to make the substitution 1 plus sine x as t because this will give us cos x so we are going to differentiate this with respect to p which gives us sine is cos x into dx that's equal to dt and this becomes our differential element dt 1 plus sine x is t so i in terms of t is dt by root t and this root t can be written as t raised power minus half into dt which can be integrated as t raised power minus half plus 1 upon minus half plus 1 plus c for the formula x raised power n and now it's t raised power half upon half plus c which is i is equal to 2 and t was substituted for 1 plus sine x so 1 plus sine x raised power half plus c and <clears throat> 1 plus sine x this can also be written as root of 1 plus sine x plus c and this solves our question number 28 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching welcome to prism science academy classes and we are on to question number 29 of exercise 7.2 and let's say our integral is cortex cortex can be written as cos x upon sine x into log of sine x into dx and now let's make the substitution because we know the differentiation of sine x is cos x so let's substitute sine x st differentiation of sine x is cos x into dx is equal to dd and now our integral i in terms of this is cos x into dx is differential element dt now it's log of t into dt sine x is t but still our purpose is not solved because we don't know the differentiation of this but yes we know that differentiation of log t is 1 by t and we are going to make substitution once again and let's say this time log of t is u and we are going to differentiate with respect to the substitution that we have made that is with respect to u and this gives us log of t is 1 by t into dt by du so du is here because differentiation of u is 1 so we substituted this u to the rhs right hand side 
and now log t into sorry it's not log t it's 1 by t into dt that's du and log t is u so our integral in terms of u is is u into du and now it's easy to integrate which should be u squared by 2 plus c u was substituted for log t the whole square by 2 and t was substituted for sine x so it's log of sine x the whole square by 2 plus c and in this question we have learned that sometimes we have to make the substitution again and again so that the integral that we get is easy to integrate and this was our question number 29 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching all right so welcome to prism science academy classes and we are on to question number 30 xi 7.2 and this has to be integrated and let's say it's our integral i and sine x upon 1 plus cos x with differential element dx and if i substitute this as t this gives me the differentiation sine x so my substitution is 1 plus cos x is equal to d differentiation is with respect to t which gives us negative of sine x into dx is equal to dt and this is sine x into dx is equal to negative of dt and our integral is i that is negative is out sine dx into dx is differential element dt and this is t so this is negative of log t plus c which finally gives us minus log t t was substituted for one plus cos of x plus c and this is our integral for question number 30 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching welcome to some science academy classes and we are on to question number 31 of exercise 7.2 and it's ready to be substituted because we know that the differentiation of 1 plus cos x will give us sine x and our substitution should be 1 plus cos x and let me substitute that so let's say 1 plus cos x is equal to t and cos x will give us negative sine x when differentiated with respect to t and our sine x into dx is equal to negative of dt so integration is negative is out sine x into dx is dt which gives us differential element dt and 1 plus cos x is t square okay so this can be written as integration of t raised power minus 2 into dt which gives us minus and t raised power minus 2 can be integrated as it's minus 2 plus 1 using the formula and that is <coughs> x raised power n and this gives us i is minus t raised power negative 1 upon minus 1 this gets cancelled so our integration is 1 by t plus c and t was substituted for 1 plus cos x so it's 1 upon 1 plus cos x plus c and this is our answer for question number 31 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching okay, so for Question number 32, we have to find the integral of 1 upon 1 plus cos x. So this can be written as, let's say its integral is i and cot is cos 
pop on sinex which gives us this is let's take lsim for the denominator is sin x plus cos x upon sin x into dx and now integral is sine of x upon sin x plus cos x into dx and, and let's multiply and divide this with 2 so half is out and now it's sin x plus cos x into dx 2 sin x means sin x plus sin x so I'm going to write it as sin x plus sin x or 2 sin x and let me also add and subtract the cos x so it looks like this and now let's club sin x plus cos x and it's sin x plus cos x and sin x minus cos x has to be club with sin x plus cos x into dx okay now this is i uh, half is common and it can be sin x plus cos x upon sin x plus cos x that has to be if integrated with sin x minus cos x upon sin x plus cos x into dx this gets cancelled so it's r into integration of 1 into dx which should be x okay in this case if we make substitution for this that is t if we substitute sin x plus cos x as t and differentiating this with respect to x with respect to t gives us cos x minus sin x into dx is equal to dt which should be sin x minus cos x <coughs> and so for this it's if i make substitution for sin x plus cos x as t it's different differentiating with respect to t gives us cos x minus sin x into dx is equal to dt this is dx is equal to dt and taking negative out gives us that sin x minus cos x into dx is negative of dt it was dx here okay so this becomes negative of dt and this is t which gives us integration of negative dt by t and that is negative of log t substituting value of t which was cos x minus sin x and finally we have this integration of this as minus this is minus log of cos x minus sin x so i will write here instead of this i will just directly write negative of log cos x minus sin of x plus c and because half was common so it's half integration of one is x minus half here it's log of cos x minus sin x let's see and that's our uh, integral for question number 32 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching welcome to Pratham science academy classes and we are on to question number 33 and our integral is 1 upon 1 minus 10x into dx 
which is nowhere a case to be substituted and let's try to simplify this so then is sine x by cos x which gives us 1 upon cos x minus sine x by cos x and now it's in the form i is equal to cos x upon cos x minus sine x into dx and let's multiply and divide with 2 so it's 2 cos x similar to the previous question it's cos x minus sine x into dx which can be written as half of 2 cos x means cos x plus cos x and let's add and subtract sine x to it which gives us cos x this is cos x minus sine of x into dx and let's try to <coughs> plug it so half is common for all let's try to club it's cos x minus sine x so cos x minus sine x upon cos x minus sine x is our one integral plus second one is cos x plus sine x upon cos x minus sine x into dx so let me just write it it's half is common for both and this and this gets cancelled so i is equal to half into integral of 1 into dx plus okay now if i make the substitution for cos x let's let me just try to solve this this one and, and let's say cos x minus sine x b3 so if cos x minus sine x is t it's less differentiating with respect to t this gives us sine x minus cos x into dx is equal to dt and if we take negative common so that should be sine x plus cos x into dx is equal to negative of dt and this becomes negative of dt and this is t so integral is negative of dt by t which should be equal to negative of log t and if we replace the value of t t was negative as uh, this cos x minus sine x and this is our integral for <coughs> this i'm going to put the value here now it's negative log of cos x minus sine x plus c and if you open up the bracket it's x by 2 minus half into log of cos of x minus sine of x plus c And this is our integral x by 2 minus half log of cos x minus sine x plus c. And this solves our question number 33. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Two Pratham Science Academy classes, and we are on to question number 34, for which we have our integral as integration of root of tan x upon sine x into cos x and let's see how we can get this converted into tan and secant so i'm going to multiply and divide the denominator with cos x 
and this is sine into cos x. I'm going to multiply and divide with cos x. So cos x and cos x is cancelled and this will not lose its original form. Okay, now it's integral of root of tan x sine upon cos is tan x and cos into cos is cos square x into dx. Okay, now <coughs> the root of tan x and tan x. The root of tan x can be written as tan of x and it is tan x that is power 1 so half minus 1 is negative half which can be written as 1 upon tan half x so this becomes 1 upon root of tan x so this gets simplified and it is now root of tan x and the cos square x is secant square x and now it's ready for substitution let's make the substitution for tan x it's secant square x this is secant square x and we are going to make the substitution of tan x because we know its differentiation is secant square x but we are differentiating with respect to d so it's dx by dt which becomes secant square x into dx this becomes our differential element dt and root of tan x is root of t so i in terms of t is dt by root t which is now integration of root t is integration of root t t root t can be one upon root t can be written as t raised power minus half and its integration is t raised power negative half plus one upon minus half plus one which is t raised power half by half it's two into t raised power half which is two root t so its integration is two root t plus c and root t was tan x and finally our integral is two root tan x plus c that solves our question number 34. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes, and we are on to question number 35 of exercise 7.2. So, our integral is 1 plus log x, the whole squared upon x, and it's ready for substitution. Let's make the substitution 1 plus log x as t and differentiating this with respect to t we get so differentiation of 1 is 0 log x is 1 by x into dx is equal to dt so 1 by x into dx is dt and this is t squared so i is integration of t square into dt which is equal to t cubed by 3 plus c and t was substituted for 1 plus log x the whole cube by 3 plus c and this is our integral for question number 35 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Welcome to Custom Science Academy classes, and we are on to question number 36 of exercise 7.2. And if, uh, it's is i is equal to x plus 1 into x plus log x, the whole square x into dx. Okay, this can be written as x plus 1 upon x into x plus log x the whole square into dx and which further can be simplified as this is 1 plus 1 by x into x plus log x the whole square into dx and now it's ready for substitution let's make the substitution x plus log x is equal to t and 
differentiation of x is 1 log x is 1 by x with respect to d is dx by dt and our integral in terms of d is 1 by x into dx is differential element in dt with x plus log x that's d square into dt which is equal to t3 by 3 plus c and at the t or substituted for x plus log x so it's x plus log x the whole cube by 3 plus c and this solves our question number 36 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Okay, so we are on to question number 37 of exercise 7.2 and our integral is i is equal to integration of x cube into sine of tan inverse x raised power 4 upon 1 plus x raised power 4 x raised power 8 and I think it's ready for substitution I will just Try to make it more convenient. It's x cubed into sine of its tan inverse x raised power 4 and 1 plus x raised power 8 again written as x raised power 4 the whole square into dx. And let's substitute tan inverse x. So tan inverse x raised power 4 dt. And we know the differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So it's x raised power 4. So it should be x raised power 4 by 2 into dx is equal to dt. So it is 1 upon 1 plus x raised power 8 into dx is equal to dt. And I will just leave it with x raised power 8. So this is differential element dt and this is t okay in this case <clears throat> uh, because it's not x it's x raised power 4 and it has to be differentiated once again so it's x cube into dx is equal to dt which gives us x cube into dx is equal to dt by 4 so x cube into dx and 1 plus x raised power 8 is dd finally our i is ready to be substituted with variable t it's 1 by 4 is out it's dt and sine t so this is sine t into dd and it's easy to integrate 1 by 4 it is cos of t plus c and i is negative 1 by 4 cos t t was substituted for tan inverse x raised power 4 plus c and this is our integral that is i is equal to negative 1 by 4 cos tan inverse x raised power 4 plus c this is our question number 37 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching welcome to prism science academy classes and we are on to question number 38 of exercise 7.2 and we have to find the integral of this and <clears throat> let's say our integral is i this is 10 into x raised power 9 plus 10 x it's log 10 to the base e upon x raised power 10 plus 10 raised power x with differential element dx. And it's ready for substitution. Let's make the substitution at s r substitution is t. And differentiating this with respect to t, differentiating this with respect to t we get differentiation of x raised power 10 is 10 into x raised power 9 and this is differentiation of 
a raised power x. So, <coughs> sorry, differentiation of a raised power x is a raised power x into log a. And for this, it's a raised power x into log a to the base nature log e and this has to be differentiated with respect to t so dx by dt is common and dt is on the right hand side and this becomes a differential element dt and this is t so i in terms of t is integration of dt by x10 plus x raised power which is t which gives us log of t plus c then this is log t is x raised power 10 plus 10 raised power x plus c and if you match this this should be our option d log of 10 raised power x plus x raised power 10 plus c then this solves our question number 38 do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 39 of exercise 7.2 and this has to be integrated for sine square 1 upon sine square x into cos square x so our integral is dx upon sine square x into cos square x and now this can be written as i so it's one and for one we know that sin sine square x plus cos square x is equal to one so let's replace one with sine square x plus cos square x it's sine square x into cos square x in the denominator and now let's separate the variables it can be written as sine square x upon sine square x into cos square x with differential element dx plus integration of cos square x upon sine square x into cos square x into dx this gets cancelled this gets cancelled so i is equal to 1 upon cos square x is secant square x and 1 upon sine square x is cosecant square x into dx and now we know the integration of secant square x is tan x and integration of cosecant square x is negative cos x it's negative cos x plus c and that's our answer for question number 39. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.